welcome back guys to Dark Souls Scholar of the First Sin. Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. You gotta add 2 uh, before it's named. I wonder if the guy that we talked to, that, who gave us the uh, mansion, the house key, the Jula mansion, is the, the another name. Something tells me like, uh, like it's like a, I don't know. I have a pretty bad suspicion that there should be a Estus flask shard inside this house. But we're gonna, we're just gonna check out if the guy came. Nope, he did not. I think you have to kill the boss and this skeleton does not respawn. Yeah, I was just checking that. Now in this episode, uh, last time we completed all of the Force of the Fallen Giants. Well, not all of it. But every side 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 uh, areas that we can go before fighting the boss. Well, not every side area because oh my god, there are so many. Well, not actually. <laughs> anyway, in this episode we're gonna try um, taking on the boss. And because uh, there will be some NPC summons. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna try. Well, we do have an Estus Flask Shard. We're gonna try uh, trading this Smooth and Silky Stone and all four of these uh, Prism Stones. Now you probably noticed that there were no tutorial boss for this game. I don't know why they did not, they did not implement it, a tutorial boss. And I mean, in the first game, you pretty much can start the fight right off the bat. I guess they had different intentions, or I don't know. Okay. You, you, give us smooth. Yes, you, give us silky. Pro tip: uh, leave your uh, if you have multiple items to trade, just leave them one by one, and not at once. We'll get better trade for the small silky, uh, small smooth stone. I don't know the, what, what I, I forgot the name. Yeah, but yeah. now all you have to do is pick up life gem, life gem. Shut up, fading soul. Rubbish. What? Silver proud knight. So we did not get, we did not got lucky. We will restore our humanity because of the NPC summons. We have five human effigies left. Right. Talk to talk to Emerald Herald. You have to go very close to the NPCs. Is that a shard you found? Yes. To see light. However, if... help me. Flask strengthened. Now we have three Estus flask usage. Oh, trying to remember if there's any other shards that I have missed. There are many areas that we can go as well. There's the uh, Heights Tower of Flame. I don't want to go there, but we're gonna go there after I beat the first boss. I'll tell you what, we'll defeat the first boss, then, uh, I guess, we'll freak. Be quiet, balloon boy. Okay, we'll, uh, destroy or kill the first boss, then we will, uh, go for the next one. I mean, the side area. No summon signs. Usually they're... Usually there are many summon signs. Alright. Does not matter. Because we do not need help. Oh my god. Yeah, these enemies, even though they are beginning like starter enemies, they can surprise you. Just be on your guard. 
the elevator that leads to the boss. And you'll notice there's an iron clad on the other side of the elevator. Yeah, there he goes. I believe they are called Turtle Knights by the community. Hello. This door is locked, you cannot open it until later. Okay, these two summon signs that you see, they are uh, all NPC summons. This is the mid-mannered Pate. The guy who gave us the white sign substone. Will not help any player until later on. And this would be Silk Sword Lewitt. It's a shade, but works. Shades can fight bosses. So you have two NPCs helping you with the first boss. I just summoned. I obviously don't need two help, or even one. I can take on that guy alone. But I'm just getting them for the story purposes. Last giant. The last giant, if you know what I mean. What am I doing? Well, I don't have any ranged weapon. So yeah, I have to be very careful. Did he just dodge my knife? Oh, he dodged again. Oh my god, that's sweet. Careful with these sweeps. Even though he's a beginning boss, he's very tough. I mean, he does a lot of damage. And looks like I'm not doing much damage. Oh my god, like I said. Boom, I never feel easy fighting him with the melee. That's because how big he is. Wow. That attack I did not see coming. Got hit. I think we should uh, utilize our shield. Old sword style. You should just attack through the shield. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Just waving to his summon, I guess. Oh my god! We're out of Vistas. We're not doing enough damage as I as I anticipated. I usually do a lot of damage. Don't know what kind of builds I go for. Wow! Uh, well, he's almost dead. Dead of his uh, extended range. And he's dead. Soul of the Lost Giant and Soldier Key. That was uh, the quote-unquote last giant. You know what I mean. Isn't that the same guy who was waving? Let's read the soul description. Soul of the surviving giant who was bound below, was bound below the forest of the giants. 
The Lord of the Giants who had brought wreck and ruin to the entire kingdom was said to have been fa played by an by an unknown warrior. Okay. His beaten and broken remains were then dragged beneath this stronghold where he was sealed away. Wait, so that was this um, that was this uh, giant lord? Damn, I did not know that. He also got a key. Let's read that description. Where's the key item? The item should be in the very end. Ah, soldier king. Key to the soldier's door in the forest of the fallen giants. A fort was created in the forest to face the giants, uh, but now the soldiers were lost and hollowed. They were infleed and flipped. I These are very hard words. But not without honor and continue to steadfastly defend their country. This basically opens extra doors that you will see throughout. We're still subject to get uh, invaded. Because there's there's a uh, there's a second boss in this area. We're gonna go to this so we're gonna open this door first. Okay, now down the hallway there's a chest with a ring, with a ring. Gotta use my articles. The ring of restoration and three torches. The ring of restoration is uh, just what it says. A protective ring passed down in the house Australia gradually restores HP. In the sacred land of Lindelt, this ring symbolized Prosperity and long, long, uh, oh my god, long, long VD for the great house of Aust Austria. But the ring is fragile and breaks easily, and if and if it hates being taken for granted, as if hates being taken for, for granted. And that's funny because I never had this ring broken. I never had any ring broken. Now this ring, uh, it does what it says. It basically increases, uh, by, like heals your HP very slowly. Like very slowly, it won't replace your Estus Flask or Life Gem. Get two Ember Herb, don't know why that was in the chest, because it's completely useless for us. And this is a very cheap item. Now this knight is guarding this door. He won't attack you unless you get close to him. Or rather go close to the door. So this is the symbol of the king. Yeah, that's a in-game thing. You cannot do it now. Hey. Oh god. I had that parry, what the hell? Was I not close enough? But I can cheese him. Don't have the dagger though. These attacks are very weak. I mean, by that I mean the attack pattern. So slow. Okay, we have 9,000 souls. I believe we can level up. Yep. We can level up by a lot. If I am correct. And if I'm not, then oh well. Now uh, the next area is a bit hard. So what we're going to do is we're gonna going to go back to the bonfire. Maybe even upgrade our stuff. I still don't know what kind of weapons I am going to use. And Melancha should be uh, moving to a new, uh, moving to Majula by now. So it's 
kind of works for us. Malencia. That's the name I always say. Milench. Okay, there she is. She she'll sit there for the rest of the game from now on. Alright, let's see what kind of weapon that we want to use. Fire long sword that we can already use, but we need And of course the mace. Even the morning star we cannot use. Chime, we need to use that. The so fifteen strength is what we need. We have twelve strength and six faith. We're in very bad shape. <laughs> We're like very low level. Bearer of see, see, lest this. I believe we lost like three thousand souls in the beginning. Very bad. Kind of want to take my faith as high as possible, but we're not going to take that. Go for that. There's the fifth five strength. The rest should go for adaptability. That I am satisfied with. Okay. Now we can use the axe. The battle axe. The battle axe is a kind of slow weapon. But it hits like a truck. We also have the mace. Okay. But we will stick to the fire long sword as well as short sword plus one. And uh, our main hand will have the dagger. And we can still roll, probably. I kinda wanna upgrade my uh, weapons. The, I'm gonna use this. Oh, we got we got more soul items here. Fading soul. That puts us on 2,000 souls. Should be enough for to take our. I knew you'd be around. All right, let's see. We can upgrade our fire long sword. Increases damage. We can also go for the battle end. I honestly don't know which weapon I am going to use. This may scales B with strength. This is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make my axe not bleed. But my sword will be a lightning fire sword. My I mean lightning long sword. I'm going to keep my mace normal physical. Backs would be I, I mean the axe would be the bleed. Kind of a still a tough choice to make. Oh, now, if you notice the morning star, it already has a bleed. Kind of weird. Well, not weird, but kind of missing out on that. We're gonna take our battle axe and uh, fire longsword. Not going to worry about our shield. Should be it. We have. We still have. We don't have souls. Oh my god. How is that? Oh, uh, we also need to use our bow. God, there's so many things. You know what? I'm done. Okay. So, an upgraded weapon and stats. We'll now head to the mansion. Pull out my sword. Keep that. Keep that equipped. Okay. Still, still having that bad suspicion that there should be an Estus flask shard somewhere around here. I have like a hazy memory. Not sure. Okay. Yep. There he is. Oh. Hello again. You've made it. The map, I presume. Of course. Take a good look. 
Now uh, we've already seen this map. This is the map of Drang Lake. I believe this is the Farfire, the Majula, otherwise known as. This is why it is now lit. I believe he does not know why the fire, how the how the map is lighting up. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. I know, it's the completion. Something essential. The completion satisfaction. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes within. Did you see the flame? Okay, that's all he says. Now his dialogue kind of outdated because we already discovered and explored all of the map. Or all of this mansion. I don't know what he's, uh, I believe he's talking about this skeleton, but I'm not sure. And there's no Estus Flask shard, good to know, good to know, good to know, I'm gonna double check. Kinda back of my mind, it's driving me away. Let me go outside, Maybe there's something. No hidden stuff. Got the pig's attention. Alright, I guess the control sensitivity is very high. Okay, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing to this mansion other than that guy, this map obsession. Oh my god, they're here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my luck. Oh, I can now kill them. But I do miss. Like I said, uh, these uh, pigs will get uh, weaker by the time because you get stronger. Oh, there, there's you. Ow. Okay, those pigs don't uh, scare me anymore. And I believe there's nothing. I did it. Did you kill the pig? Those pigs are kind of a meme, you know, because no one expects tiny pigs to cause huge problems. I'm curious to see what the armor boy has. He has nothing. So I guess I have to buy more stuff. Should be enough, I think. All right, what do you sell? Oh, hello again. Of course, this shield, uh, none of which blocks 100%. I already bought the helm. Maybe I can go for the falconer armor. All right, I go. I'll go for it. Thanks very much, uh, and do please come again. Yes, once you upgrade your stocks and sell something real useful. Okay, we have only three SS flasks which is, no, which is which is not good, but we did defeat the boss, like I said. Like I said I would. I did. So I don't know why you're looking at me like that. Now we shall go to the forest of the I mean uh <laughs> we will go to the uh Hyde's Tower of Flame. And we will not fight any boss there. Oh, God, so stressful. It's like there are so many things to do in this game. I'm just getting overwhelmed by this stuff. 
Like, should I beat this boss or should I beat that boss? You know? There's like so many options that are open to you. That's what's true is a, I mean, this area, Majula is like a spider wave. Okay, this is the way. Prepare to feast your eyes once again because it's a wonderful, wonderful place. Welcome guys to Hyde's Tower of Flame. They have a Hyde Knight here, they, they are neutral. Now look at the sky. I, I strongly believe this is the only time that I saw the sky is clear in any Dark Souls game. Every time the sky will stay overcasted by clouds. Okay, these are called Old Knights. But they are weak. Because they are old, I guess. They can hit like a truck though. But they have very low health and vision. You can hack through them with ease. Yeah, light the bonfire. Once again you are subject to get uh, invaded. There's the Hide Knight and uh, you also have that guy. Hello. guy will give you much trouble. Ah, oh, he dropped a pale stone. Ah, I guess. Good enough. Philippine Nebula Soldier and Human Effigy. I'm not messing with the Hide Knight because of, the, because of a certain reason. But that's right, he won't attack unless you get close to him. Guard, oh. This is why I need a better thing, a better shield. This lever will rise. Now look to the background. There's that's the boss gate, and I believe you can see the boss from here before you even fight the boss. But uh, I mean, activating this le lever will cause. Part of the platform, platform will to rise. Depending on your skill, this platform can either make job easy for you or hard for you. There's the boss. It's called the old dragon rider. I don't know how he rides the dragons though. Okay. You can see three of these knights here, but the good thing is that they will leave you alone while you fight this knight. After you beat him, run up to this guy. And the guy on the left will lose his interest. So that you can fight this guy on one and all. Wow, fourth attack. I did not anticipate that, but he missed. As you can see, their attacks either go up your head or they miss us a lot. There's another lever that uh, rises here. Most of the time I miss this one. Yeah, 
yeah. His D egg road. That's how you fight them one on one. One on one. On one. Right, that's the word. Here you have a big guy. I suggest you kill him. That's the chest that I want. Wow. Okay. hard time but you know they say I was stronger for the sake of that chest I have to aggro this hide knight okay I already have witching urn Oh, oh, get fucked. Holy damage. That's the magic of daggers. My god, that is 700 damage. Usually it takes me two parries or two back steps to finally finish that guy. What was that? Here you have a ring of binding. The ring of binding is a useful ring. Okay, an usual ring of unknown origin. Limits the wearer's HP reduction when whole. Alas, this ring will not make you human, but his loss is not easily achieved. So this ring is a uh, if you haven't noticed, you tend to lose your maximum health if you die. And the only way to get your get back your maximum health is through by is by uh, being human again. And which is why I I use this ring because I tend to die a lot and human effigies isn't something that grows on trees. Okay, that's all for this area there sh did I activated all of the levers yeah, I believe I did now I'm not going to fight that boss because we have another boss to take care of and we also have that dragon so it's a it's a, it's a huge problematic place if you kill the dragon rider first every hide knight will become hostile like actively hostile and not neutral and they are very tough which is why I'm not going to mess with them we are at 36 minute mark just going to go back to Majula do some upgrading maybe maybe wavy then on the next next uh, next part we will fight the second boss of forest of the fallen giants is he's, uh, he's probably the coolest boss of the forest of the fallen giant. Why are you frowning? Does she live here? Oh, <laughs> right, I forgot. Time is convoluted in Dark Souls. I knew you'd be around. Okay, that's uh, oh, forgot. Alright, let's see. Fire long sword plus one. We can take it to plus two. This is damage. I will not touch the mace <clears throat> yet. And I want to take up my take up my fire long sword because that is going to be my be that is going to be my lightning long sword. Lightning is uh, very good to be uh, to take on dragons. But armor of Dennis. Did you upgrade your stock? Now look at that. He's now sitting on a chair as opposed to on the ground. He definitely upgraded his stock by now. Oh, I was hoping that you would come. 
I've stocked some new things, and I thought that you might be interested. They've been selling rather well, and I may step up operations soon. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm surprising even myself, to be honest. <laughs> now, I don't know if you need to buy two items from him, or is there some certain amount of souls that you need to spend. But now he has upgraded his stock and look at that, the gold gem. It's a, it's a lot of souls. But I want the Elite Knight set. Damn. Thanks very much. Okay, we're going to have to, have to spend everything we have. I'm going to also use the giant souls. I don't do, I don't need the weapon. Oh my god. Still won't be enough. I should have bought the armor set. Forget to buy something. Yeah. Forgot. What did I buy? What the legging? Gonna get that. Get the helm. Twenty-five thousand for the for the gloves. Thanks very much. Yes, yes, yes. I will have to come back because of the glove. All right. Let's see our equip burden stuff. Right, we did not got the gauntlet. Sixty-six. This will put us on seventy-six equip burden, which will make us happy. So, and I have to. Kind of have to. That looks rather pleasing. Still got that medium roll. I hope it's the medium roll. Obviously, we are a bit slower than before. But we have more defense now. So I can now stop being a professional swordsman and become some kind of a knight who will say who will send an axe okay all right that's it for this episode of uh, game fury I mean I mean uh, dark souls I'll see you guys in the next time next time next time Bye-bye.